Okay, um, so today we start a very shortened version of our studies of the Supreme Court. Um, I probably should pick a new picture, of course. We know that Ruth Bader Ginsburg died in August and a new member of the Supreme Court has taken her place, a woman by the name of Amy Comey Barrett. But, oh well. Um, the main job of the Supreme Court is to answer questions about the Constitution and federal law. Um, after a court case is, is won or lost, um, the loser of the case can appeal their court case. Um, and, and it doesn't start. It's not like, oh, I, I, I lost my court case over here in uh, Chatsworth. I'm taking it to the Supreme Court. Um, no, there, there are steps. There are multiple steps. And of course, you know, my court case about the, you know, tree in the backyard that, that's coming over my wall or whatever. Maybe I got in trouble or something. Um, it's not going to make it to the Supreme Court. These are questions of constitutionality. Constitutionality. Um, or court cases that are between two states. So if there's a case between two states, oftentimes the Supreme Court steps in. Um, or if it's a question of constitutionality, the Supreme Court can step in. After you, you take it to, to an appeals court, then there's like state Supreme Court that you can go to, and then federal appeals court, and then finally the Supreme Court. Each one of these steps costs lots of money, and for the average person, this doesn't happen. Um, but for the rich, the ultra-rich, politicians, states, etc., cetera, um, there is a possibility that a case could make it all the way up to the Supreme Court, especially if it's a constitutional question. Okay? Um, so this is, and, and when the Supreme Court rules on something, that's it. Game over. There is no way um, to change that decision. Well, sometimes you can maybe amend the Constitution to, to change that decision in, in 2010. Famously, the Supreme Court ruled in a case called um, oh gosh, Citizens United, uh, U.S. versus Citizens United, that PACs, political interest groups, or super PACs, could spend unlimited money with no disclosure of where they got their money from on a political candidate, which dramatically increased the amount of money that was being spent by um, political campaigns, specifically the president, but also senators and, and even lower level cases, lower level level um, political races can now t get a ton of cash. I mean, if you, you know, Nick Melvoin, who was the school board member for Taft High School and, and Woodland Hills, um, he gets a bunch of money from, um, uh, a pack, okay, to, to help him run in his political campaigns um, as a member of the school board. So it, it can go all the way down to, to um, lower levels. These political action committees are oftentimes um, supported by big money backers. Um, the charter school industry is one that, the private charter school industry is one that is involved oftentimes in um, school board races. And so is the union. UTLA will put money into the um, these races as well <clears throat> um, but but the point being um, in 20 so with this the Supreme Court case was decided right and what they said in their decision was the only way to change this is to make a amendment to the Constitution limiting the amount of money that can be spent on political campaigns it actually overturned a law that was passed in 1996 by John McCain and Russ Feingold called the McCain Feingold campaign finance law and it limited the amount of money that could be spent in, in your commercials. And every commercial had to say like, this is you know, John McCain and I support this ad. Um, when nowadays oftentimes is put on by Americans for prosperity or like some really interesting um, made up fun sounding name. Um, so yeah, but, but, but the bottom line is that um, the only way to overturn a Supreme Court decision is by a, an amendment to the Constitution, which is incredibly hard to get. We, we've talked about this multiple times. Um, we can't even get an amendment to the Constitution that says women have equal rights to men, you know, which should be an, a 